flows if you present a God that heals one more time don't be tired this is koinonia lay your hands on your head and say Lord as you are anointing men in this end time to heal I pray that I will be an available vessel go ahead and pray go to the highways and the byways and compel them to come by presenting a God that loves and compel them to come by presenting a God that forgives and compel them to come by presenting a God that heals hallelujah please be seated let me give you number three what kind of God must we present to the nations to cause the nations to come as a multitude to him number three the God who redeems and delivers the God who redeems and delivers the God who redeemed and delivers Psalm 50 verse 5 let's hurry up Psalm 50 verse 5 I just sense that very soon the waters in this place will be stirred honestly I sense that we have taught something in the spirit and there is a baptism that God wants to do before this service is done today and I want you to position your heart the God who delivers hallelujah Psalm 50 verse 15 not 5 15 Psalm 50 verse 15 please let's hurry up media let's read together one two read and call upon me in the day of trouble aha uh -huh. and I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me Psalm 34 verse 4 the God who delivers I have taught you that deliverance is a process that brings separation between you and any unclean spirit or between you and any fav unfavorable condition. Deliverance is not limited to separation from spirits. You can be delivered from a condition. Psalm 34 and verse 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me. How did he prove he had heard me? He delivered me, not from all my trouble, from all my fears. A man can be delivered from the things that bring fear. I believe in deliverance whole some deliverance casting out the spirit influence and the condition that keeps God's people down and then preaching and reorienting their understanding deliverance through transformation and then supplying the grace that helps them to conform to the image of the Christ in experience this is wholesome deliverance Luke chapter 4 and verse 18 when Jesus was reading the messianic prophecy here's what he had to say that he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and had sent me to heal the brokenhearted and preach deliverance to the captives in every congregation there are captives look at the kind of people that constitute the membership in every church the word poor there is also the word meek or limited people so you find poor people there are brokenhearted people there are captives there are spiritually blind people there are those who are bruised every time Time you see members come together look beyond the clothes they are wearing this is a spiritual x-ray of the people who come to our churches every week make sure you do not ignore the captives because you have not contended for genuine power it says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions the God who delivers Psalm 107 verse 20 goodness he sent his word and his word healed them but there are some people who do not need healing the word now delivered them not from spirits from their destruction a man can be delivered from destruction meaning the devil can bind you with destruction that you get up in the morning and you come out of your house only to return with so much trouble because you were bound with destruction it says that men can be delivered 
from destruction. For as long as I am alive, I will preach deliverance and I will minister to people who are bound even now that anybody who is under the yoke of any spirit that has trapped your life, has trapped your destiny in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, may that spirit leave you now. Can I tell you, it is impossible to have the gathering of people come in the name of Christ and come to the end time church without having one person there who is in need of deliverance. When you are preaching to mature believers who have been mentored by you and you have supervised their spiritual growth, you can guarantee that by the reason of their growth and understanding, they may be free from the influence of these spirits. But in every gathering, God adds daily as many who should be saved. There must be one person in every congregation that needs to experience the deliverance power of God. The separation of light from darkness. When people get up with all the nightmares, wrong dreams of seeing yourself in your secondary school, don't just say it's just a dream and all kinds of, of, of unwise spiritual explanations. What makes you believe that's just a psychological thing? That you find yourself with the dead, you find yourself in a grave, Someone hits you in a dream. You wake up with physical pain. After two weeks, they tell you it is cancer. And you say, that is psychology. Does that sound like psychology? No. The realm of the spirit is real. I know a family. I think I've shared the story here. A whole family. Someone came up in a dream, according to what they said, with a syringe. And said, this is HIV. HIV virus injected the person in a dream and the person woke up just shrugged it away after a few weeks their health began to deteriorate they went to the hospital with no reason to have caught HIV they, they diagnosed them and they said they had HIV ministry is like medicine it exposes you to all kinds of people people and things you would not have believed except that you saw it yourself how about me, the preacher who is talking to you? You've heard my story that I was born again and I was already walking with God, yet spirits were coming to oppress me. The, I, maybe because of my spiritual understanding at that time, I didn't think it, I knew it was a disturbing issue, but I didn't think it was such an issue that demanded attention. How do you go? Sometimes I would preach in a meeting and return back. Not many people will be honest to tell you this. I would lie down and then because of the advantage of the prophetic I would see these spirits entering my room I would shout Jesus the same name that was making demons run away while I was preaching and these spirits would not run as if they I was lying I knew something was wrong I'm saying this to you so that you swallow your pride tonight and say this spirit that has been disturbing me I'm not going to be hiding and be lying and say I'm okay simply because I want to show that I'm spiritual it is better to hold on to the horns of the altar and deal with it once and for all before it tears your destiny into pieces listen I'm both old and new school oh. let me tell you I am both old and new school depending on what you are looking at Are we together? Yeah. Both old and new school. Depends on what you are looking at. There are many believers who are going through all kinds of satanic problems. They know it. They will pretend and act as if they do not know it. Things are going bad in your life. You know by intelligence that this is the hand of the devil. You are watching yourself go down. Your family go down. Your ministry go down. Every good thing is leaving you. And you are just smiling and saying, it's all right. I'm sure that it's just a season. A season of what? The day you get angry, that season comes to an end. I'm telling you this. Hallelujah. There are people who have all kinds of physical evidences of the dominion of darkness. I know somebody, true story, who told me that he got money, physical money. He kept it in his house. He was the only person. That money disappeared till forever. I'm not talking of someone came, maybe an arm robber or maybe a cleaner came and stole it. It disappeared. 
and I know the person is too responsible to be playing games and lying with me. Somebody promises to bless you and you wake up in the morning and you go back to the same person and he says, I cannot, did I ask you to come here? And he said, I sir, I thought you said it's my time to get this job to help my mother. And the person says, I cannot remember if you ever come here again. And then someone comes and you see what should have been yours. They just tell the person, go and get the job. And you sit down and say, it does not matter. Can I tell you, let me give you a project. Write everything that is not working in your life. Let that become your spiritual project. Take responsibility and say, this is the devil. When you see the signature of Satan, you know. John 10, 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. What is this pain that I'm having around my body? I went to lie down and the next thing, I saw myself in a coffin. I got up. Yes, there is a place to just make blind declarations. But if warfare were a waste, the Bible will not, will, will not talk about it. Are we together? Yeah. There are times where it's not just a blind declaration. No, God forbid, I am fine. You need to go and hold on to the horns of the altar. Satan, I am a believer in Christ. There are benefits to serving God. And I'm declaring I am here to appropriate this benefit of deliverance. Hallelujah. Benefit of deliverance. Benefit of deliverance. I have taught you. You see yourself in a coffin. Wake up and close that coffin and bury it by yourself. Are we together? No, you don't get up and leave the coffin open. For what? Oh grave, where is your sting? Oh death, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives within me. There is no death for me till I finish my assignment. And no conspiracy and no divination against me can stand. As I travel from nation to nation, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I'm showing you how to take dominion. Listen, the church that will see nations come to it, must be a church that allows the hand of the spirit to administer deliverance to God's people. It is my prayer and my covenant with God that nobody will come here carrying any strange, wicked, familiar spirit and that spirit sits comfortable, opening prayer, comfortable, praise and worship, comfortable testimonies comfortable then I come up comfortable we share the grace and the spirit escorts you back to continue the trouble no sir no sir our prayer is not a waste the fasting is not a waste in the name of Jesus I'm saying again every spirit that has become a stumbling block upon your life and your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be separated from that spirit now Please sit down. The end time church, if we are to compel sinners and compel men and nations to come to Jesus, it must be the church that reveals the God who redeems, the God who delivers. Number four, let me finish because I want us to pray. 